Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna, digital nomads from the States who left and have been traveling full time, trying to see the whole world. If you enjoy our content, we'd love to have you subscribe. so go ahead and click that button right now. But today, we're exploring the Tsukiji fish market and making our way to Kyoto from Tokyo. If you're planning on coming to Japan and you want to use the train system, you're going to want to stick around for this one. Okay, so we're running a little late to our tour. Um, but we'll record our entire train journey and hopefully we get there on time because they said they will not wait. We'll see. One thing we'll always find is the quickest place to find an air conditioner. The lights on top. It's so nice. It's hot down here. It's very hot. It's hot. <laughs> Navigating the train system here can seem like a daunting task, but we may do with Google Maps and a little luck. And if you do the same, you'll probably be fine. When we first got to Tokyo, we went to the JR rail office and picked up our visitor's Suka cards that allowed us to tap in and out of the gates, load money for fares, and more. As of right now, there is a chip shortage, so most sources online will tell you to get the Suka card on your phone, but you could still pick up the visitor Suka card from the JR rail office just as well. There are signs directing you everywhere on the train system, and a majority of them are both in Japanese and English. So if you're ever lost, there's sure to be signs directing you to where you are, or at least what station you're at. It can definitely be a little overwhelming at first, especially if you're new to taking the train in general. Look at these nice little signs that show you where to go because there's multiple trains. It's very complicated, but we're getting high. I think to using Google Maps is helpful because it'll literally tell you like which exit to like walk towards. Oh yeah, it tells you. Otherwise, otherwise we'd be screwed. Yeah. These places are so big. There's absolutely no way we'd be able to figure that out. Yeah, so if you use Google Maps, then you could follow the signs, and it's pretty easy then. When you're using Google Maps, not only does it tell you how much the trip is going to cost, but also what platform you should be looking for, the best cars to ride in that are closest to the exit you need to take, and more. It's way more detailed than any other region that I've seen. There are a ton of different train lines in Tokyo. Later on, we'll be taking the Shinkansen bullet train to our next destination where we'll talk about the JR Pass and if you should buy it for your trip as well. Set. Set. Akihabara. Akihabara. After a few transfers on the train, we made it to our meetup point with our friend and guide, Tak. He was going to show us around the Tsukiji fish market today, which is the largest fish market in the world. It was very hot, so we were doing everything we could to stay cool. So, uh, beer, <laughs> classical music, massage are three important factors what to make them more delicious. That's, that's so interesting. Oh, I'm joking, I'm very serious. Yeah, yeah. But this method 
um, uh, applied to only limited uh, leaf capture, mm -hmm. yeah. not for all of them. Yeah. That's the kind of life I want to live. <laughs> I see scallop strings. I like that. Oh, oh, I was thinking, so you know. probably not the whole thing. Oh, spicy. Mm -hmm. and I think this will be so flesh in your mouth. That's a lot of spicy. Yeah. I was like, it wasn't spicy at first, but... It's spicy. Ooh. This will refresh your mouth. What we got here? This is a cod fish with lemon flavor. It's good? Mm -hmm. It tastes like a, a candy, kind of. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then you get a bit of the fishy place flavor later, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this market that we're at is simply massive. We're going to be spending some time with Talk today. <coughs> oh, we're going to be spending some time with Talk today, going around, trying some new things in this market. We said this before in a previous episode on Tokyo, but the vending machine culture here is outstanding. You're never very far from a fully stocked vending machine full of cheap and delicious drinks and snacks. Carrying cash is a must in Japan for these though, as cards are rarely accepted, if ever. Here we go. Yep. Now we got some hundred coins to use later as well. You need to try this one. Okay. That's oh, sweet. Salty squid. Dried squid. That's from our restaurant. Pretty good. Oh, that's good. We headed inside to the open air portion of the market where we couldn't record until we actually grabbed our food and sat down. Tuna, correct? Yes. Okay. We can see all the difference in color. Lean meat and fatty. Oh, this is and the fatty. Medium fatty. Medium, medium fatty, fatty, yes. Wow. Is that good? It's so good. Mm, that's very good. Like, what do you think this is caught? Yesterday? Yesterday? Mm. Does it taste, it's very does it taste like yeah. it was caught yesterday? You can chew it on like uh, eating it. You um, can like feel the difference. That's good, right? It's super fresh. I can't believe it was just caught yesterday. This was swimming two days ago. In the, in the ocean, this was swimming. And now it's swimming in your belly. Now it's swimming. It's so good. This is delicious. Three then you will get this soup. You can use this one for miso soup or a noodle soup or various Japanese dishes. That's good, right? Right, the eel's so good. I like the scallops too, but I think I like the the eel better. Mm -hmm. Top tip when you come to Japan, learn how much money is. We just spent 3,000 yen on two cups of fruit, which is the equivalent of $20. Yeah, but maybe this is the best fruit in the world. This better be the best fruit in the world. We're just $20. $20 on fruit. I'm not mad about it. That is worth the $20, yeah. I'm not mad, nope. $20 worth of fruit, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> yep, not mad. Around the shop is closing, or starting to close. We're on a mission to yep. find spicy, spicy squid. Squid, like dried squid. No, oh, everything overall was like really good. I really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend this. And especially coming with somebody that like knows, knows what, what stuff doing. is. 
There's a bunch of free samples everywhere, but also I feel like half the time we look at things that we don't know what it actually is. Yeah. We're like, I wouldn't have tried it. Right. But he's like, here you go, try this, try this, try this. Was that it? No. Oh, that one? Yes. Is that him? It's that guy. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Spicy squid. In the big pack here. Oh, yeah. I'll finish this in like a day. Oh, yeah. Totally. You know, because our squid consumption has just gone through the roof since being in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It's like eating chicken. Should I get two? Just get one. We headed back home and packed our bags to start our journey to our next city, Kyoto, which means that we needed to find our way back to Shinjuku Station and figure out where to go for our Shinkansen train. Okay. This is us leaving Tokyo and going to Kyoto. Taking the bullet train, but we have to get there first. And we are met with stairs and immediately <laughs> coming out of here. Yeah, that's fine. We made it to the station at least. We walked like we walked like four minutes. Like, four minutes. like down one road. <laughs> and then our bag just kept getting caught on these ridges. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> we were staying at a hotel. We could have shipped our um, bag to us rather than Airbnb. We can't. And it makes a really good point here. There are several services that help ship bags from hotels around Japan. Since we were staying at an Airbnb, this wasn't really an option for us, but if you're staying in a hotel and you plan to make the trip outside of Tokyo, ask your concierge about shipping your bags. We didn't even go that far. We walked like four minutes. I'm so sweaty, like I jumped in four right now. Look at this, we just have this bag. These bags, the stuff on our backpacks. The back of my neck right now. <laughs> our train is like way less packed than the one that was on the other side, so we are very excited for that. <laughs> Even though we couldn't ship our bags, we still try to prepare as much as possible. If you're taking the Shinkansen train and you have bags like we do, you'll need to reserve your seats ahead of time to maximize your storage capacity. This can be done at any JR train office ahead of your scheduled departure and doesn't cost anything extra to do so. If we didn't book our seats ahead of time, we would have had our suitcases in the seating area with us. Not very comfortable. Okay, so we got to, oh, my hair is a GD mess here. Oh God. How do you guys let me go out like this? Oh, okay. So we made it to the Tokyo station where we're catching our Shinkansen train. Very confusing here. There's a lot of people. As you can see behind me, there's just busy, 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 busy. We put our bags down for a second, scouted out the area, found our track, we're good to go. We've got like an hour and a half. We gave ourselves so much time before this. But it is very confusing. I mean, like these signs, there's just like a lot on here and they're everywhere. So it's, it's it can be kind of tough to figure out your way around, especially if you're in a bit of a panic. So top recommendations, I mean, just give yourself time. Look for the signs with the logos that you know that you're, you're uh, the train that you're going on and pray, <laughs> use Google Maps. But yeah, we should be getting on our train here shortly.
here's the reserve spot for our bags. Got a nice little upper area for our other bags. This is what happens when you reserve ahead of time. We only purchased a one-way Shinkansen ticket since our flight was leaving out of Osaka, but if you're planning on taking it more than once, you'll want to look into just buying the JR Pass instead. This allows you unlimited access to all JR trains, buses, ferries, and airport transfers during the duration of your stay. Compared to standard Japan train tickets, the JR Pass presents the biggest discount on Japanese public transportation that you can actually get. So definitely look into that if you're taking more than one Shikansen train. Is it good? Once we got to Kyoto Station, we opted to just grab a cab. We were really tired from walking with our bags and struggling with them on the trains. And you didn't think it was going to fit. No. Well. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. If you liked our content, we'd love to have you along for the rest of our adventures. Like this video, hit subscribe because in our next video, we're going to be getting to our authentic Japanese home and showing you around the temples of Kyoto. That's it for this one. See you next time.